Hi everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you the quickest and easiest way to get rid of files that will not trash on your Mac. Now inevitably if you're a Mac user sooner or later you're going to come across a file that you're going to put into the trash and you're going to try to empty the trash and it just won't delete. It'll come up with errors saying you don't have permissions, the file itself can't be deleted because the system needs to use it or it's in use. There could be many reasons. Well first keep in mind you shouldn't be trashing files that the system uses so be careful as to what you put in the trash. But if you know that the file is not being used for the system you're 100% sure that um, it's not needed and you want to get rid of it, it just something happened to it and you can't get rid of it, this is the program that you need to try out. So I use this program called Cocktail. Um, I'll leave this uh, website in the comments area so you can go to it. Just click download. It has the El Capitan version as you can see. It also has Yosemite, Maverick, Mountain Lion, and even a Lion Edition. And it'll give you 10 times to use the application for free so you don't necessarily have to purchase it before you try it out. And if you only have one fall you may just want to use it this one time uh, but if you do like it and you do want to use it for the other things that it does because it does a hell of a lot of other things besides uh, deleting uh, the secure empty trash feature but the single user license is only $19 it's actually on sale today it looks like uh, for Veterans Day and uh, it's really uh, only $19 so I would highly recommend it I mean if you're looking for something to do a lot of cleanup on your computer uh, it's worth it so a after you go ahead and download and you simply click uh, here and then which version you need uh, it will download it to your downloads folder and then you're going to see a cocktail.dmg file and you can click on this little uh, what do you call it magnifying glass and it'll open up and then you double click on your DMG and that'll open up and there it is you simply click on it you drag it into your applications folder and you let go and it will copy it in there once you have it in your applications folder uh, just go to your go menu to your applications folder and find uh, cocktail now when you open cocktail for the first time especially if you haven't paid for it you're gonna get to this uh, window you could purchase it here but remember I told you you have 10 times that you can use it so just hit cancel and it will be working for full function so so how do you get to the delete feature that I'm referring to? Well, once you have it open, click over here where it says system. Wait for it to load because it's gathering information, as you can see. And once it's done, it will give you this trash feature here. Simply click empty, and it will empty it, and it will say it has emptied the trash and that's all there is to it now the application itself has some other really cool features um, as far as all these different options that you have uh, to clean up your computer even has this area here here we go and you can check these out when you download it um, this is now reading the disk uh, so this can actually do some journaling disabling and enabling it can also uh, set different you know permissions it can put, set up different sleep it even has mount external disks without user login uh, there's some stuff here in the network area as well that it can do some interesting things as well so it's not just a program that you're purchasing to empty trash it's a program that you're purchasing to do a whole bunch of uh, items and maintenance tasks on your computer the best part of uh, the trash feature on cocktail which is what this video is really about is the fact that I tried to empty a file once with any terminal command I could find, any application I could find, and I have to say, Cocktail was the only one that could get rid of it. And you know, when you try everything and, and you ended up using a program like Cocktail at the last minute, you could have saved so much time if you just started off using it first. So if you do have a file that you can't delete, try out Cocktail, download it, check out all these cool features that it has uh, because there's some really wonderful uh, other items that you can use in here to clean up. I especially like uh, the idea that you can um, run this automatically. Um, they have some schedulers on here as you can see where you can run it on its own schedule and that way you don't have to actually go in there and do things. It'll just run in the background whenever you want to. And so I would highly recommend this and uh, like the video if you liked it and subscribe to the channel for more Mac tips. Thanks for listening.